Okay, let's make a virus. So no one really knows what a virus looks like. The images you see on TV and the internet are all fake. Here is an actual image of a virus taken with an electron microscope. So the rest comes from people's imaginations. So I came up with a pretty simple way to recreate this with geometry nodes. Okay, so first let's model the spikes. This is what's going to be attached to the main body of the virus. I just made a cylinder, added some loop cuts, and extruded out the top section. Then I added one more loop cut and scaled that out a bit and added a bevel to make that sort of a rounded head. Then I extruded the center in so it's kind of like a cup. Next I added a bunch of loop cuts to the bottom and then turned on proportional editing and moved some things around to give it a more organic look. At the base you can make it a bit wider and bevel the edge. And that's pretty much done. So now you need two icospheres of the same size but one should be subdivided a little more than the other. Now we can start on the geometry nodes. The first set is going to be added to the less subdivided icosphere. Add in a point instance and set the object to the spikes we made earlier. Now add a point, align rotation to vector, and set it to the z-axis. Change the vector to attribute and set the vector to normal. And now you should get this funny looking shape. You can scale the spike down in edit mode. Also, make sure your origin is at the base. One way to make this look a little more random is by adding an attribute, attribute randomize. Change the float to vector and where it says attribute, type rotation. Now you can change some of these values and it will give the individual spikes a random rotation. So now I'm going to add one more low poly icosphere and scale it way down. Now select the other icosphere and add a new geometry node set. Add a point instance and select the tiny icosphere. Now add a join geometry node and plug the group input in. Now select the small icosphere and scale it down in edit mode. Add a point distribute node and crank up the density. You can add a point scale and this will allow you to change the scale of the spheres. Then add an attribute randomized node, set the attribute to scale and that will give each sphere a random scale. Okay, so now we're going to take this whole thing to the next level by adding geometry nodes to the spikes as well. Just add a point instance node and select the tiny icosphere. Then add a point scale and point distribute. Add a join geometry and plug the group input in. Now increase the density of the point distribute. You can also add an attribute randomize and type in scale. Now it should look something like this. Now for the material you can do whatever you want, but I went with something very simple. It's just a noise texture running through a bump node and into two diffuse shaders. One light blue, one dark blue, and then into a mix shader. The factor is being controlled by a layer weight node through a color ramp. I experimented with glass and emission shaders, but I like this one the best. So just be creative with this part and make it however you want. If you did everything right, it should look something like this. 